that. <laughs> I'm going to add that damage to him as well. And we all get eight you points. killed the first one. Mm. He's dead now. That was an unexpected delight. Clerics are powerful. Awesome job. Delight. 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 not be closer to the... <laughs> where we are. Back. Over there. You're doing a little like, skibbity-doo. Lavinia well, finishes her turn. It's Josephine's turn and then Percy's. Peacemakers plus ten. Peacemakers plus Peace ten times two. Peacemakers plus... Yes, that's true. And they also pew, have... Pew. They have fire damage on them because they are bright iron weapons from Terra. So, roll to hit. Fifteen. Hits. What's and your bonus? And my damage is... Uh, I believe they're D6s. Plus five. Yeah. Q, Q, a uh, 12 for the second one. This well, you still hit 10. with both with your bonuses. Okay, and, and then so my damage is a 10. You get plus one piercing. Okay, so I got eight for the first okay. one. Okay. Plus one is nine. And then four for the second roll. Drops him down. Good and job. And the damage today. All the damage. the damage. All the time. <laughs> Becomes Percy's turn. Okay, so I whip around, and since I've got the bow out, I'll just keep on firing. First one misses. It was a, I rolled up three. And uh, this one is 13, so 23. So nice. your second one hits. points of drama? Or of drama. No, <laughs> drama. <laughs> Damage? Damage. So Suffering. much drama. 23 points of drama. Kill him with drama, Percy. Seven points of damage. That's both bow damage and shadow damage, correct? Mm. Yep. He's not looking too healthy. Of course, he wasn't looking too healthy when he started. So this pirate is looking rough, this undead pirate. Another shot at him. Um, on the second roll, I only get a plus five, right? Yeah, that's it. So 20. You still hit him with 20. Okay. Four points of damage, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Total of five points of damage? Mm-hmm. All right, well, he's still standing, uh, and as a matter of fact, he gets to take a swing now. Take a step. Yeah. All right, you can use step to disengage five feet away. Yeah. And uh, he is right up close and personal with Josephine. That's who he would attack for sure. He rolls to hit. 17, he hits for ah! sure. <laughs> Damage is uh, 1d8. And, Dang it. And, uh, and he's got like a plus... Three piercing on that. So, so uh, minus 11? Four plus three. Rolls seven points of damage. Hits you for seven points of damage. <laughs> That's the sound it makes as the sword hits her. <laughs> as the pirate swings his sword, it goes. Ooh. That sounds I, I can actually horrible. feel that, like, taking <laughs> a chunk out of my, wherever it hits. And it becomes Raven's turn. Raven is attacking him with the Velociraptor, who still is standing... And trying to bite his butt. The Velociraptor tries to bite him again. And with a nine, does not make it. Velociraptor misses. Raven decides that he's had enough of his kinetic energy spell. And he decides that it is time for... Oh, there we go. Hello, Raven. Raven the cat tree. (laughs) It is time for an electric arc. The pirate has got to try and dodge the electric arc with a basic reflex save. And the pirate rolls to dodge it and pathetically fails. And uh, let me see. Electric arc. Arc of lightning equal to 1d4 plus your spellcasting modifier. That's pretty lame damage. Plus 4. 8. I guess we're good. Can't trip, it's okay. He makes five points of damage plus four points for his spellcasting modifier. So it's nine, you know, it's okay. So Raven casts a spell and the spell makes this sound. Bling, 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 bling. You probably, probably the problem is, and I, I'll be able to fix it in future sound. They won't be able to hear sound effects the way we can in the room because I don't have the speaker's mic. Right. When I get my sound fixed, I'll make sure that the feed going to the speakers also goes to our recording equipment, and then you guys will be able to hear it on stream as well. With that damage, you can tell the undead pirate is on his last legs, and it becomes Lavinia's turn. Mm -hmm. Lavinia, it's time to bring out my sickle. Your sickle. Yes! You have not had... That sickle out. Has she ever used it even? Yeah. One time. Yeah. One time. Uh, One time. Bring me the real sickle. Can you can you find the real oh sickle for me? Oh my god, I 
gosh. I've got, it's I wanna, so dangerous. I'll, I'll do it over here and show the camera because that way we don't have to worry about it being over there. Lavinia really does have a real sickle. We like to have lots of props around for fun okay, with the game. Dave? But uh, Dave, here's the thing about Lavinia's sickle. And this thing, i got to be careful I don't You've cut myself nothing. on camera. I know. This thing ain't no joke. This thing opens up like this. And it opens up like this. Ooh. And it will... <laughs> It's so icky. It's so scary. Yikes. Can I, can I get in focus? You can see, like, that blade is like, whoa. So just cool? combine that with my Disney smile. All right. <laughs> now, We're so cute. <laughs> I have to close this without cutting off a finger. Uh, you Let's need to push see. the release. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Fingers oh. out of the way. And then how do you close this one? Push mm. this thing down. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, we're putting that away. Yes, we are going dangerous. to make Lavinia a safety sickle prop that we can actually <laughs> brandish around Let's here give her a plastic without sickle. killing anyone. Maybe we'll give her a popsicle. Oh, oh. death by pun. Here, <laughs> every single night if that was the torture, we'd all be dead. That's crazy. <laughs> because oh Rob is Rob's got a black belt in bad puns. Oh. The attack bonus on your sickle is... 1d6 plus 1 plus 1d4. Oh, your sickle even has a name. You named it Safira. I sure did. S-A-F-I-R-A. Safira. Pretty. So the attack, roll a d20 and add 7. Plus and five. add 7. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Oh, you hit for sure. And so then 24. your damage is a d6 and a d4. A d4 for fire and a d6 for slashing. And, and the fire is because it's, a, once again, a two bright iron two. weapon. How much? Two and two, four. Two and two, four, plus one extra bonus point for slashing, so you do five points of damage. And uh, as you slash it, you see one of its arms fall off because it's so badly damaged as a pirate. And, and because my thing is so sharp. That's right. It's and totally you disarming. now have used one Very action disarming. to do this. Only one action? Wow. Which is attack. Which you used one action to get there. Oh, right, so, so you're down That's two. That's right, two actions, so you have one action left. I'm going to move back with Gonna my third step. Step, step away. Yep, step away. Okay, all right. Run uh, away, run away. Yeah, run away. That makes it Josephine's turn. Oh, I'm staring him right in the face. Put him I? away, put him away. It's, a, it's an awesome hat. What's she doing? Oh, look Ooh. what she's... She is pulling out her whip. That was good. You guys just did it exactly at the same time. Good. The same Magnify scene. the sound. He's right in my face. So I'm going to try and sling this thing right around his neck. Uh, you do that. That sounds like an excellent Does it plan. have holy water and something on it as well? Not like right now. It's not so. No. Um, but it's got that boost. It's currently dried off. Ah, yeah. Nice try, but no, she doesn't have extra No, no, but water. it can be at times, but mm -hmm. uh, not currently. Okay. So we're going to roll. Roll the hit. We rolled it, and plus eight. Hits. You are you nice. just made it under the wire. Eighteen, okay. Six points of damage. Six points of damage? Mm hmm And what about your two points bonus? Is that added on top of that? Yes. That's included, so yeah. It's um, included, or it's... A, it doesn't um, matter, because you know what? You go... And uh, the and his blow... Head falls off? And his head falls right off. Yes! yes. <laughs> he had two points of life left, so he was going down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that means that you are out of combat. Because he's dead too. And immediately Raven says, I would like to search the body. <laughs> See, I was going <laughs> exactly to search bodies. Yeah, because that's amazing. exactly what Raven says exactly every what time. Does. Every time. Search the bodies. <laughs> So Raven immediately scurries over like the wizard scavenger he is to see if they have anything. And he discovers, uh, I'm going to let somebody else search one of the bodies. We're going to let Raven search the first body, the pirate captain. He discovers two very black stained putrid jagged cutlasses. Ooh. And both of them have a little bit of, I don't know, some type of smoking residue around them. Uh, what do you think Raven would do with something like that? Check it for magic. 
He would immediately check for magic. Yes, yes, he would investigate for magic. There's something magical about them, but he can't tell what it is. So he's going to put them in the bag of holding until he can investigate it further. Do we think they are bright iron? They are not bright iron. Okay. They look like underneath the the staining and the ugly, dirty patina that's on them, Mm. that they're both made out of the same golden alloy that that you uh, have uh, found... Uh, most of the weapons in this world are made out with. Hmm. Okay, uh, he moves over to the other body. Both bodies also have small coin pouches in them. Okay. Ten uh, or Orichalcum coins, the reddish gold coins, and a couple of air light gems in one pouch and the gems? other pouch. Air light gems. gems. Not slivers this time. That's right, mm-hmm. they're nice. full gems. The other pouch has only um, got three other air light slivers. The bag of holding with our, with our booty? I'm doing that right now. Yeah. Awesome. And the other one's got three air light slivers. It looks like about five or token coins. And once again, they're stamp Roman stamp on them. So we, we, we currently have like 100, 157 of them. And you are now close to the end of this first chamber that you're in. It looks like ahead of you, there's a natural archway opening up into another chamber. What will well, be I mean, our are we following adventure? footsteps? Our friend has clearly been dragged up until this point. If you want to roll investigation to see if you can find more tracks of Kay. Thaddeus. I rolled a 10. You rolled a 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't see any tracks of Thaddeus. Well, you see one boot, one footprint of Thaddeus, and it appears that he is actually accompanied by bare feet, not by the booted feet. They look human to you. It appears to you that there are two sets of male tracks and one set of female tracks with Thaddeus's shoe prints that occasionally appear uh, in the damp bits along the uh, trail. Okay. And which way am I looking? Which Is it up this way? No, we're going down the other way. You are following this, the very the, the rudimentary okay. stairs that's okay. down here. Pop it on the map and I will move the map and show everybody. On the map. So we're going to move down this way. All right, like this. And we're going to move you guys to this point. You're not in the water. But you can see that there are two paths. One runs along one side, one runs along the other side. In this area, the water has gotten noticeably deeper. It's at least twice as deep as it was before there. The paths are actually elevated on ridgeways. Why don't we move those like minis over to someplace like where they would be? There you go. You no longer see any fish visible in the water here. Doesn't look like the same uh, little swarms of piranhas that were after you are present in this area, this second cavern that you've walked through to. So what do you wish to do? You want to keep moving? Yep, let's keep moving. Got to keep going. All right, I'm going to keep moving the map as you guys move along these trails. If there's something you want to stop at, let me know. And I will... Well, I'm, I think I want to check out this. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to see if there's anything here. Um, no, but like then a, like we're probably little... heading this way if we don't find anything there. Looking through the trails, there's quite a labyrinth of them going uh, around and uh, around the various pools and water and stuff like this. But you don't see anything but natural formations. You don't find loot. Okay. You don't find any further uh, pirates in this area. No booty to be had. No booty to be had. I would okay. dearly like to confer with Abuela Mala. Abuela. Uh, let's introduce Abuela Mala. Uh, let's switch out to uh, Lavinia episode. on the camera, and we will show Abuela Mala. And are Lavinia we still on the same episode as before? Is we, we're on tonight's up. episode. Nice. Episode is like every time we turn on the recording to record and do our thing. So, this is... Abuela, that is the skull of Lavinia's dead grandmother. And she has had this skull since she was a little girl abandoned in an orphanage. And her dead grandmother speaks to her, doesn't she? She even appears to you in vision sometimes, isn't that right? I Well, a lot in my dreams. I, I have had a relationship. I mean, I realize that this is her skull, but she's so much more than just a skull to me. I mean, I, I hear messages from her all the time. And it's been that way ever since I was a little girl. I just wanted to ask 
whether Thaddeus is safe because he's my <laughs> friend and and I really miss him. And I would never tell him that though. <laughs> Thaddeus, I miss you. <laughs> so you like ask Abuela Mala if Thaddeus is safe, and all of a sudden you get back a cackling laugh and uh, Abuela Mala says Thaddeus is getting a little bit more female attention than he wants right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. And suddenly Lavinia goes, oh. <laughs> oh. So oh. Does for, Lavinia get jealous? For anybody that might is have Is there been, a romance here? <laughs> is there a burgeoning romance between Lavinia and Thaddeus? Well, that's going to create some interesting... <laughs> Complications. At least we know so from one, that one that he's female safe. is too much female attention. Well, that's all you know so far. Well, I mean, if you're yelling from the top of the train, Thaddeus, that's too much female. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps yeah, that's a reference to one of our very first episodes, and that's what Lavinia did. As you get to this point, and you are now at a bit of a bottleneck, and you see a uh, small set of worn steps going down to another platform. Before you go down, you notice at the bottom of the platform, right in the middle of that little platform at the bottom, there is a small creature just kind of waddling around in that spot. We are going to find out from the ancient tome, Creatures of Era. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to find out what you find in... Oh, look, the light even works. Oh. That's where we need the sound effect. That's right. Yeah, I need to be able. I need to be able to push a button and open this thing. You find walking around down there the cutest little alligator oh, you've so ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Put it back on map. Okay. You see him down there. Mm -hmm. Wow! They missed him because Josephine there. Josephine put him right there. There he is. There's a uh, wee little alligator down there. I have to have his bee speak, so I'm gonna step forward and talk to this little fella. You do have bee speak. You're gonna walk down and step forward. I'm and talk walk to him? here and say greetings, my little friend. All right. He sees you, and all of a sudden he opens his jaws. He goes, and uh, he starts waddling towards you. In his fiercest baby alligator waddle, apparently he has prepared to do battle. <laughs> Roll for initiative. Whose turn is it? I want to know. I want to know. Including your perception, what are your initiatives? Two plus 11 is 13. 13. Bottom of the barrel so far. Not critical fail, but very close to it. And Lavinia. 15. 15. That's pretty good. And Percy. 26. Percy is top of the thing. And Raven, what do you think? You uh, with the initiative, uh, 16. 16. With the initiative. Uh, sorry, with, yeah. So, with Lavinia, you were only like 13, right? Something like that. So, Percy is the first to react as this little baby alligator starts coming right at him with his jaws wide open. What are you going to do? Um, I'm not going to have any weapons in my hand. I'm going to crouch and say, we mean you no harm, young man. Okay. Um, you notice something unusual about this little alligator while, as he gets closer and closer to you. And that is that you would swear you can see a little collar around his neck. Hmm. With a kind of some kind of name tag dangling down from it, hmm. you reach down. And you say, "We mean you no harm." What mean, else are you doing? Uh, well, I, I hunkered down. I need mean you no harm. I'm going to pick him up. All right. As you reach down to pick him up, he takes a nip and bites you in the finger. Okay. Let's see if he actually does any damage. Here's a D4. He does one point of damage to you as he bites you in the finger. And. Um, all right. And then he wriggles free and jumps down. And all of a sudden, as he lands, the glow begins to glow around him a little bit bigger. And he suddenly grows in size 
to be that big, the same size as you are. Okay. Pat him on the head and say, you're cute. You're going to try and pat him on the head? I'm going to try and pat him on the head okay. and say he's cute. All right. We'll see what he see what happens. All right. uh, his reaction is that he try, he snaps at you again, but he misses. And it becomes uh, Lavinia's turn, then Raven, then Josephine. Okay, I'm going to walk around. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's something I can cast on to Percy to protect him more. But I'll pass it on to the next person. That person is Raven Alexium. Thaddeus, what do you think late Raven would do? Because that's what Raven likes to do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop, and we are only taking a five-minute break. Not a 10 or five 15. Minutes. Five tops. And then uh, I want to come right back right away. Okay. Because I want my turn. Can my you goodness. set a timer for five minutes? I will set the timer for five minutes. Uh, Rob, if you could uh, stop the recording, but not the stream.